In this video, I'm going to show how to build your own layers with Toaster. Let me first of all create a new project. I'm going to call it something like playing with local layers. One of the interesting features in Toaster is that it knows about all the layers published by the Open Embedded community and that you can build. They are all listed in this layers table. You can search here for anything you might need for your builds. You might search for networking software. Or maybe you're looking for a web server. Or you need some security related software. or even software-defined radio. There are layers for all those things. This is all well and good, but what happens if you have your very own custom layer, which you are likely to create at some point? You can't build your custom layers with Toaster. You just need to make sure that Toaster knows about them first. And the way to make sure Toaster knows about them is to import them. Importing a layer is quite easy. All the information you need to provide is a layer name, a git repo, and a revision. You can also set a subdirectory and dependencies if your layer has any. Let's import the layer. The only requirement with layer names is that they are unique. If I type the name of a layer that already exists, Toaster is going to stop me. It's going to tell me, sorry, there is already a layer with this name, you can't use this name. So I will need a unique layer name. I'm going to call this one Metamorse. When it comes to the Git repo, you can provide a remote URL, as long as Toaster can access it. But if your layer only exists locally in your development machine, that is not a problem. You can import local layers into Toaster as long as you have initialized them as a Git repository. In my computer, I have a layer I've called YPDD ADV layer. And I've done Git init inside the layer directory and created a couple of branches. So my layer is now a Git repository. This means I can import this layer into Toaster, even if the Git repository only exists in my local machine. I just need to type the full path to the layer. I have a branch called master, which I will use for the revision, and my layer has no dependencies. But if it did, I just need to look for them and add them here. If my layer were to depend on MetaOE, for example, I could add that layer here. I can also delete it, of course. I'm going to leave the open embedded core dependency because it is normally needed. Any layer you create is probably going to need open embedded core. And once you've entered that information, you just need to click the big blue button and that will import the layer and add it to your project configuration. If I select the layer, Toaster knows about it only what you have told it so far. It knows the Git repo, the revision and the layer dependencies. You can also set a summary and a description from here. But Toaster knows nothing about machines or recipes. This is because Toaster has never built the layer. There are some limitations to what Toaster will learn about your layers through building them. Toaster will never know about machines, so if yours is a BSP layer, your machines will never be listed here. But Toaster will learn about the recipes your layer provides. Let's build something from this layer. In it, there are a few recipes. Those four there. I'm going to build this one. The one called Morse App. I just need to type the name here and click Build. When the build finishes, you can check which packages are produced by the Morse app recipe. There they are. 
But what's interesting is that if I check the layer I imported, it now shows some of the recipes provided by the layer. And you can now build them from here. And if I type their names here, they will come up as suggestions belonging to the layer I imported. You can of course also add the more sub packages to any of these standard images that come with the build system. For that, go to the Bitbake variables page and append the package names to the image install variable. You can then get a list of all the images provided by the Open Embedded Core la layer and you can build any of them with the More Sub application. And this is how you can build your own custom layers with Toaster.